you're gonna have to ignore the fan unfortunately but I thought it'd be kind of fun to walk you guys through my makeup routine because I didn't really film this morning this is the super goop it's rubbed off but it's a super goop unseen sunscreen and I apply this as my primer every day even if I don't apply uh, makeup this goes on my face every day and I do like to do makeup or like some form of makeup on most days mainly because I have hereditary I don't know if you can, I mean, yeah, you can tell. They're always there. I have hereditary dark circles or just like a darker eye area. Like even my eyelids a little darker. It might not come off as much in the lighting, but in person you can tell that they're dark and it looks like I haven't slept, even though I got a full eight hours of sleep last night. So yeah, for just some concealing, like I was mentioning, I'm using this Perfecting Complexion Stick from Merit. I've been loving Merit products recently. They were kind enough to send me some of their stuff and I totally align with their vegan cruelty free less is more minimalist makeup makeup line I always go for a really natural look we're gonna start with this complexion stick it looks like this I just literally go in now to blend this out you can use whatever you want but I just use a little brush Next thing I do is I add a little bit of blush to my cheeks. Um, this one is a cheek color in the Beverly Hills shade. They have the cutest packaging. I just literally go directly on my cheek. Highlight always. Super easy application. Like you lit I literally just go in. Uh, for my eyes, first I do like to apply just like a simple contour with a bronzer. This one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. You can tell that it's like almost done. I've been using this as like eyeshadow replacement for years, like ever since college. So I literally just go with a big floofy brush, like all over. There's no rhyme or reason obviously in the crease, just something to give it a little bit of definition. Now for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Merit Brow Pomade. Next up, we're just gonna be using the mascara. I love the applicator on this one. Last thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of a lip oil. And that's it, we're done. Six products for a nice, natural makeup look. I'm basically ready for the day. I have a meeting in five minutes, so I am gonna hop into that and I'll catch up with you guys later. And also, if you're new here, my name is Marcella. I'm a software engineer based in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Friday, September 24th. It's a work day, so I'm about to hop into the meeting. I'm gonna take you along for today's day, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna do some apartment shopping, maybe go plan shopping. So I wanna take you guys along for that too. So we'll make this like a few days long. And yeah, hope you enjoy, and I will catch you after my meeting. There we go. Um, I changed. I just wanted to be cozy. Now 11.26. I started this vlog a little bit later in the day. I actually didn't wake up and think I was gonna vlog today. All that you missed is I woke up, I did some yoga, I did my journaling, some stuff for work, and then I got ready, my shower, skincare routine, and makeup like you guys saw. That's really all you missed. And just now I was in a meeting and I got out, I did some work, and now I'm taking a little break because I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl. Just some Greek yogurt. This one's from Trader Joe's because that's where I did my grocery shopping this week. Um, some purely Elizabeth. This is my favorite granola. And I just top it with a banana as well. I'm just be using this bowl. I got this from Ikea. But yeah, this in this video, I just wanted to give you guys a lot of apartment updates. Since my last video, I have a couch rugs I have one thing that should be coming in today that is pretty exciting in terms of work though today's a pretty chill day it's a friday i don't have a lot of meetings i do have our team demos we just demo something we worked on this week and that's i think a two or three i think a two so that's really the only other meeting i have left today right now I'm like fixing a bug but I already know how to fix it so it's not like it requires a lot of brain power 
So when I'm doing like mindless tasks at work or things that I don't need to actively be thinking about, I like to listen to an audiobook, podcast, just really anything. I just like to listen to something. So I actually just finished listening to Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I highly recommend that if you're at all interested in startups, entrepreneurship, starting your own business, um, just a lot of good advice or like thinking of a startup idea, um, a lot of good advice in that book. And then now I'm starting to listen to the Elon Musk biography just because he's a badass. So yeah, gonna listen to this, keep working. matcha latte. The way I make matcha is not the standard way. I'm not gonna lie, I've just been super, super lazy with it. You're supposed to whisk it with some warm water, let it froth up, and then pour it over ice and do all that good stuff. But let me show you how I make it, it's super easy. I just use a blender. I have a magic bullet, but whatever blender you have works, to be honest. I Put the concoction of water, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of sweetener. I use maple syrup, but you could also use vanilla creamer to replace the milk and the sweetener. I think that's my favorite. So I literally just fill up however much water I want. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of that. I add my matcha powder. I use this one. I use like a teaspoon, a little less than a teaspoon of my sweetener. I deeply apologize if me making my matcha this way insults you. I just do it because it still tastes good. It's easy and fast. I'm gonna drink this, get some more work done, and then I have about an hour until my meeting for our demos. And then I'll demo something, and then I think I'm gonna run an errand after, depending on if I finish this task in about an hour. I'll talk to you guys later. Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wear and make up every day. Used to rush to work and have no time for fun and spend half of my life on full highways. Then the world closed down, stuck inside this town, home with the family. Hi, it's 1.54 now and I am about to hop into my 2 p.m. demos with my team. One of my tickets was to look into like this pretty big bug that we had with one of our services. And um, it was pretty important because other teams rely on that service. I fixed that and it was actually a pretty complicated problem to fix because it required a lot of digging into and uh, it just wasn't a simple solution. I'm gonna actually present that. I didn't work on anything new, like adding a new feature this week. I just was working on that and then now I'm working on fixing another bug, which I thought I had the solution to. But turns out it's a little bit more complicated. I thought it was a caching issue, but turns out the data that we get back is correct. Anyway, I'm feeling pretty tired still. So hopefully that the caffeine from this matcha will kick in soon. After my meeting, I think I'll take a break and show you guys a little bit of my apartment because there are updates. So that's kind of where we're at now. I'll catch you guys later. Hi, so it's around 3.30 now. I got out of my meeting and actually ended a little bit early because not a lot of people had anything to demo. And then I worked for a little bit. I actually heated up some leftover chicken and sweet potatoes and had that for lunch uh, with some barbecue sauce. I just really wanted an excuse to have barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce. <laughs> now I think I'm gonna take you on like a small apartment tour, but not really. I'm just gonna show you all the new things. Okay, so this is the door, and then this is a little entryway. It's trash, but this is like return stuff. And then this is actually a mirror. 
that I got on Amazon. Hello. And I'm gonna put this like right about here so that I can have like a little bit of a last face check before I head out the door. I haven't hung this up yet so I need to figure that out mainly because I had big plans for this wall until I realized it's only like a piece of wood. My, it's not an actual wall so I can't really like drill like a shelf into it which I had a plan of putting a shelf for the kitchen. I got some of these wooden utensils from Amazon which I absolutely love the look of. They came in a huge pack. They also are great for cooking on non-stick pans with because they don't destroy your pans. I got a new board. This is from I think TJ Maxx. I got it last weekend for my charcuterie boards. These oil bottles, one has olive oil, one has just vegetable oil in it. Um, these are from World Market, love those. The biggest thing that's different is I have a couch now. Not just the couch, I have like a whole living room situation right now. The couch and the table are both from World Market. I will link them below. The rug is I think from Overstock. I am obsessed with the couch. It is insanely deep. The table is large and in charge and I love the simple look of it. And then I have my TV. The stuff has been already here. Something new here though is I got some TV lights. Probably gonna do that this vlog so stay tuned. My plans for the living room. So that chair I had, it used to be in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna keep that. I'm gonna get a new armchair to go there. I'm gonna get like a little poof here, like either a brown one or just a beige one. Rest our legs or somebody can sit there if they want to. This area, I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna do a bar cart. The problem is I don't really drink that much, but I could do a bar cart and then some sort of pictures or something on the wall. I was thinking maybe do like a large bookshelf. I just don't know what color I would want it, but I want it like brown white like my desk area stuff back there white wood i'm just not really sure what i would want it so this area is actually the only area that's still tbd i'm gonna get a large plant to go by the couch here on top of the couch i'm gonna actually get some diseño prints i'm gonna pick them out with you guys in this video so we can go through that together but i'm gonna get some prints and do a little bit of a cool collage moving on here i'm gonna do another plant maybe a side table as well this is just storage i need to take care of that nothing really new in my desk area it's a little messy right now. I got this little cart to hold trinkets and stuff. I don't like how messy it looks is the only problem. I like that it's pink though so that's cute. Over here I'm gonna get a huge mirror and then there I think I'm gonna do a blanket ladder. Some more plants. I need to get a lot of plants and then obviously that's not decor right now. I need to get some trinkets. Lastly let me show you my room real quick. I'm gonna insert what it looked like before. Yeah there was like the dresser and the bed and everything but this is what we're looking like now. So I decided to put the bed against the window and it's actually been a great decision. Put two of the pictures that I had on my walls up and then the third one is there I think I'm gonna get a new print and then put that in the bathroom. I've got this white faux fur rug It's really soft. It's actually very supportive too. I thought it was gonna be like super thin, but it isn't This one I think I got from Overstock. I'll link it. I don't remember exactly and then this is the cutest area here I got a clothing rack. I had this mirror already decided to put it here up here today I'm supposed to get a neon sign in the mail. I'm gonna put that above the clothing rack I think it'll look cute and then I'm gonna get a picture or something large to hang up here to cover up the electrical stuff but I am obsessed with this area it's so cute and once I hide the electrical unit it'll be even cuter don't know where I'm hanging up this guy yet maybe if I get a bar cart I'd hang it up above the bar cart over there but I'm not sure this is my closet so this is where the dresser went I'm totally obsessed with my room now and I was scared that I wasn't gonna like it in this new place especially after the initial look of it after we put the stuff in here so yeah those are my updates I am obsessed with this couch it is so pretty and it is exactly what I wanted um, again it's from World Market. I'll link it below. Not sponsored or anything. I bought it with my own money. I'm having a hard time picking a good like armchair for over here. I don't know if I want a beige one. I don't think I want a black or brown leather one just because I don't want anything too dark in this space. I think I've already picked out a mirror um, and a poof that I want to order. But I'm actually waiting for a credit card to get in the mail. I know that sounds weird, but basically, especially when I'm in a phase of high spending, right? Like right now, my spending is a lot higher than normal because I'm furnishing my apartment. I like to order new credit cards with bonuses that I want. So I am waiting for a credit card that I applied to and got approved for to get in the mail so I can put the purchases on that credit card and I can earn the like welcome bonus. It's called credit card turning if you're at all interested. And I do that especially when I am, like in this time it just worked out that 
my boyfriend and I want to do like a cross-country trip using like the Amtrak just for like fun and we also saw a YouTube video of somebody doing it I'll insert it here and I was like oh I should just get the Amtrak card and if I get the bonus the trip will be free I know people say don't use credit cards I am a big proponent of credit cards you should always use credit cards as long as you're able to pay the like total at the end of the month. Like I could use my debit card for these purchases, but I'll use the credit card and pay it off and get some rewards from it. Highly recommend credit card usage, but do not ever put yourself in a situation where you are in credit card debt and you have to pay the high interest because that's a hole that's really hard to get out of. But yeah, now I'm gonna get back to work. Most of my team is actually logging off early today, but I wanted to wrap something up. So it is, actually I'm gonna go take this to the couch, that's better. So it's around 4.30 now, and I'm gonna actually run to USPS and UPS because I need to return one thing to somebody who sent me some products to try out and maybe shout out my YouTube channel. I didn't like the product, unfortunately, so I told them I can send it back to them because I felt bad, like I don't wanna keep it if I'm not giving it a shout out. And then I also need to return my Spectrum equipment because I actually switched from Spectrum to AT&T. Spectrum fooled me into like a higher paying package. It's a whole story, I hate Spectrum. I'm gonna walk over there now because I don't wanna go when it gets too dark. You don't wanna walk around downtown LA when you're a woman at night by yourself too frequently. Gotta love it. So I just had this. I've been obsessed with these. They're just smaller, they're 150 calories. 10 grams of protein. It's just like a really quick small snack and I love that because I find that other protein bars are kind of too large. They'll be around 300 calories. They will have like 20 grams of protein or 18 grams of protein, which is nice, but sometimes it's just too much. So I love these. I'm about to set up these lights. I got this on Amazon, around 20 bucks or so. I'll link it below. I know that they're good because I got these as a like mini gift for Christmas for my brother and my boyfriend and they both like them. Let's try to do that, see if I could do it by myself because when we did my boyfriend's, it was both of us, but I'm too impatient to wait for him. only has specific oh, my boyfriend's facetiming me there's only a specific colors but the app will let you do any color i just reconvened with my boyfriend to figure out what we want to do tonight now i think i'm gonna go work out then we're gonna cook something for dinner and just hang out and try to think of what we want to do this weekend oh my neon sign that i got above for above my clothing rack is supposed to arrive today by 10 p.m so I'm hoping that'll come in and we can put that up and then hoping we can put up the, and by we, I mean you and I, mirror by my entryway. I've been putting off everything. I've also just been feeling kind of in a rut. General mindset hasn't been bad, but I've been spending a ton of time on my phone, especially on Instagram. So I have put off a lot of the things for my house. I'm glad we're doing this so that I can get some of this stuff out of the way and done. Like for example, those packages that I went to go drop off, those have been sitting around for like the past week. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to the gym now. Usually it's packed down there, but sometimes on Fridays on the weekends, it won't be as packed. So if it's not super, super, super busy, I will film. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. Wake up for your dancing in the 
this mirror up. I want to use command strips to hang it up. So if you remember, I want to hang it up on this wall. The wall is just a piece of wood basically next to the fridge. So I can't like drill a hole in there because I don't want to deal with any damage that that could bring. So I'm gonna use command strips. But in order to use command strips, there's like a ledge here, you can tell. So I have some Gorilla Glue and I was like, if I use some super glue to glue something onto this, I could then put the a command strip on, I would bring it up to above this, then that could work. So I was racking my brain trying to think of what to do that with and I decided to use cardboard. So this is from the box that it came in. Um, I just cut it up using some scissors and so if I stack four of them, so I'm gonna have to glue all these together and then glue it to like the board here. If I stack it all up, it then becomes taller than the ledge. So if I put the command strip on this, it'll reach the wall. Genius. So that's what we're trying to do right now. I'm watching a spooky Kendall Ray video. So I think we're doing well. They're glued on there and glued to each other, so I can't really move them. The glue does say wait 24 hours for full cure, so I probably won't hang it up until tomorrow. high I want this. I feel like now it's a little too high. Actually, it's not bad, I guess. I want my head to be like right here in the frame, but I'm really too lazy to undo it. So I think I'll just leave it here for now, and if I want to undo it in the future, I will. Also, hi, I literally just woke up. I'm so excited to put this up that I just did this. I haven't even like gotten ready or anything for the day, so I'm gonna get on with my morning. I'm probably gonna do my skincare routine, make some breakfast. I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, 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 oh. 
I find that putting the banana on there always ruins the aesthetic, so just for record, this is what mop pancakes look like. See what I mean? Actually, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look as good. It's gonna be my breakfast. You're my east, you're my west When you see me at my worst Try to make me feel my best This love we just can't deny it. You know all the ways I like it You holding me tangled up in these sheets Holding you, holding me Easy love You holding me Tangled up in these sheets holding you. Hello. I just journaled, had my breakfast, was watching some YouTube, I'm trying to figure out plans for the day. I think I'm gonna go to the USC game later on today. It's like 7 30 p.m. So just decided to do that this morning with some of my friends. So now I want to actually shop with you guys a little bit, or at least online shop with you. Um, I don't I'm a little too lazy to go to the plant store, but um there's one here in LA called Mickey's plants and you can place the order online and just go pick it up like the next day so i might do that screen record while i chat with you guys so that i can show you what it's looking like so i'm all cozy in here finishing the rest of my cold brew i'm going for a really cozy yet still put together vibe so um so i'm thinking that I will want to do, let's go to Desenio. I'm planning to get some prints from Desenio. So I've already looked, let's see, living room. I've already looked at their website because I've been trying to figure out exactly what I want. And I saw that they have these influencer collections and I actually really like hers. I don't know, it might be a little too basic, but I really like the look of this one. I can't do this exact layout because I measured it how wide it would be and it would end up being a little wider than my couch, which I don't want to be wider than my couch, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I would want it to be wider than my couch. I really like the prints in this one. So um, I really like the artsy one. I like the women. I like the one that's a face of a woman. I like this palm one. I really like the quote. I'm thinking I will get a portion of this gallery wall. It's $534, that's so expensive. Kind of Frankenstein to my own collage. So essentially I want this layout for above my couch. This one I think will be really cute. But I wanted most of the prints from this view. I also wanted black frames, so I don't want the light frames. It's gonna be this layout, remember that. All the frames are gonna be black like in this one. And then for these two big ones, I picked this frame this like this whole look here with the palms and then this lady just because I like the look of her. This one is gonna stay the same but with a black frame. I also stayed, this one's gonna stay the same but with a black frame. This one is gone and it's replaced with the you are, you're, you are the greatest project you're gonna work on. This one is replaced, it's gonna be this guy here. And this guy's staying the same but with a black frame. And then this guy's gonna stay the same, but with a black frame. This is actually the same step-by-step, day-by-day one as in Anna's. It's just a smaller one. 
Anyway, I'm gonna check out with this and then we actually have a, so I'm gonna go to the game later tonight and then we actually have like a um, residence brunch that our building is throwing and I figured I'd go just to see if I can meet some people. I don't know, it'd be cool to like make friends that live in the building and do like board game nights and stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna go check out that and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, so I'm getting ready for the SC game. I'm gonna wear this bandeau top and these pants for sure. So I'm gonna throw over this beige jacket too because it's probably gonna get a little bit warmer at night. Now I'm kind of stuck deciding between the shoes. Option one is literally just what I'm wearing plus some white shoes, so it'd be looking like this. And then this is option two. Actually, I think now that I'm looking at it on camera, definitely gonna go with this option. So I added a black belt, black boots, obviously still gonna wear this on top. And that's all. I gotta head now. I'm running late to move with my friends. See you guys there. <laughs> <laughs>